what is going on folks long time no see we are just launching here beautiful billy goat hole beautiful morning going out with captain hurricane today i'm getting the ladder that leads up to the t-top it's getting repowder coated right now so my boat is out of commission for another couple of days and uh but I conned Captain Hurricane. I had to really twist his leg real hard to take me out today. We are headed out. We're just going to have some fun. Probably 20, 25 miles. Go do some trigger fishing, beeliner fishing. We're going to check around the ship, see if there's any cobia swimming yet. We're just ready to uh, feel something pull on the rod here. That's all we care about right now. Been too long. Been about a month. But between work and family and terrible weather just hadn't been able to make it happen but we are about to get ramped up here for spring season then summer but uh we'll check back in we get back out there here it's a little windier than it's supposed to be but i have rigged up a double rig chicken rig here got an eight ounce weight at the bottom a couple little pieces we're gonna start with some cigar minnow triggers seem to like some minnows and squid so that is the goal we're gonna try to catch our two keeper trigger and then uh go explore maybe try to find some scamp some bee liners Almaco, whatever we can find. So we are getting ready for a good day. All right, first drop here with the new reel. Treated myself to a pin authority here. Took it on the last tuna trip and did not have a chance to use it, unfortunately. But this will be the first drop. Let's see what we can find here. There's lots of life on the screen. We are on just one of the public pyramids here, about 100 feet deep. Let's see what we can find. Already getting bites here. All right, first fish. Let's see what we got. Just that, just that quick. First drop. She's smooth, I like the reel. Let's see, and a baby snapper. We knew we were gonna be fighting these all day. Hopefully we can get something past him. Captain Hurricane hooked up over here, very first drop. Let's see what he's working with. Current ripping. Oh yeah, it's moving. I'm glad the Rodan's working. Yeah, you got some shakes. Let's see, you got two snapper. Right. Not just one, but two. There you go. We're gonna drop down some squid this time, see if we can do something different here. Come on, something different than a baby snapper. And, oh, we got a BB. That's good. First keeper fish of the day. He might be. He's right at the limit there. A little fish sandwich. This is what we might get on the hook. about eight or nine ten miles and uh, just had a 
terrible surprise here. Just ran smack dab over this big old telephone pole tree out here in the middle of the gulf. I mean, you cannot see it. Just enough chop where you can't see it, but thankfully the boat seems to be unaffected. We're not taking on any water. You can see where we hit it though. I mean, dead center. Smoked it. You can see where both motors hit it. I don't know. Yeah, we probably scared off any fish that were on. Wow. We got lucky on that. I mean, you can see right there where the two motors hit it. Jeez. Tony with a nice keeper snapper here, but not in season, so I'm gonna have to send them back. That's two in a row, some nice fish, but not in season this time. He gets to go back. That's a good one. That's a perfect eater size right there. Probably 22, 24 inches, maybe. Down he goes. So he would get away from them. Here, hitting the free line. Something's gonna come up and hit the free line. Oh, that feels like it could be the right one there, maybe. Yep, something I saw it up here moving around. Let's see. No, nope, another snapper. Nice keeper snapper, but he would be a good one. But not what we're after, though, for sure. Yeah. What'd you end up with? Oh, yeah. We in the right spot there. There we go. I don't know if he's going to make legal, but we're at least at the right species. Probably need to shore. Mm -hmm. What is it? 15, 15 to the to the fort? Yeah. Yeah, he's probably gonna be a little bit short. Alright, we know they're here. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, about an inch and a half short. What you working with over there, Tony? My baby. That's the little baby there. Yeah, he didn't bite it all. That's alright. They're down there. We know they're down there. All right, drop them back down. Caught that nice snapper. Let's see if we can get Mr. Trigger to bite here. That's a decent fish. Come on, baby. Come on, be the right one. It kind of feels like a snapper, though. A decent fish though. Let's see. Oh, we got the target species. He might make. He's a legal one. He's a legal one. There you go. Yep. Target species on deck. We're one. We got one of our two here. Tony hooked up to a decent one here. Let's see what we're working with. Mr. Dolphin's hoping it's another snapper, but. Definitely fighting this is in the snapper. Yeah. Let's see. It's a snapper. Yep. 
Just not a spunky snapper. That's a nice one though. It'd be a nice keeper. Yep. Oh, no wonder. Oh, he's foul hooked. All right, Mr. Snapper, it's going to be between, it's up to you, buddy, if you make it back down or not. It's not looking good for you, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Go, little buddy. Uh-oh. <laughs> it is not looking good for little Snapper, man. What we working with over there, Tony? Oh, it's not a decent snapper. Still a, would be a nice nice keeper there, for sure. And we got the right one again this time, but he's gonna be just a little short though. Probably a good 14, 13 and a half, 14 inch fish. We'll catch you next year. All right, this is our fifth stop here bike kind of died when that dolphin came around at that last spot so let's drop down i think this is another tank public number it's loaded down with some fish so just dropped down a cigar minnow caught a decent little red snapper so I'm trying some squid here this time to see if we can get something different Oh yeah, load it up on the bottom. All right, we are hooked up with something. Hopefully not another snapper. Feels kind of snapper. He got a little size to him, whatever it is. Oh, that's a trigger fish. That's a trigger. That might be another keeper right there. That's gonna be close. That's gonna be close. About 95 feet or so. That's gonna be close. Yeah. Think he might make it. Might finish us out. On some squid. Yeah, he's gonna make it. We'll check him just to be sure, but I'm pretty sure he's every bit of it. Yep, he's dead on it. Dead on it counts. That's yours right there. I caught yours for you. Yeah, that's probably the easiest fish you caught all day right there. No, nah, you can do better. That is pretty right there. That is going to be some wonderful dinner tonight. Tony finally got a fish sandwich here. Nice BB. Nicest one of the day so far. Very nice. All right. So we got our couple trigger. Tony's catching some BBs. I am going to drop down this jig, see if we can get an Almaco or something different to bite that we can uh, put in the box. I'm tired of catching a little undersized trigger and undersized snapper. We got this new goo fish monster deep here it is so light and you can just feel it it's well made it is strong i am ready to try it out on some five and six hundred gram jigs deep dropping i don't think i got picked up already here yep already got picked up just like that two two jigs and already got picked up Let's see what we got there. You can always tell you get that slack in the line there when you're jigging. Oh, there's more of the same, some more red snapper. more red snapper maybe we can get it past and get out on the coast we are about to make a move we have caught a ton of nice snapper today this is probably number five i think on this jig so either four or five hopefully we can find something a little bit 
Yeah. All right, we have moved again. We are on another pyramid, about 115 feet. I just dropped down the jig once we were uh, getting situated, caught a little baby amberjack. I'm hoping for some Almaco here. Can't keep amberjack, can't keep red snapper. I'd love a mangrove or a uh, Almaco. Or a, a monster bee liner, that'd be great too. There we go, just like that. Let's see. He's got some weight to him, whatever it is. Let's see. It doesn't get much better than jig fishing. You never know what you're going to catch. And it's very productive, too. Come on. Ah, looks like a snapper. Looks like a red snapper. Oh, nice red snapper, though. That might be the best, best one of the day so far. Uh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, my line just popped too. He must have chafed it a little bit. So. I was oh, okay. lucky to get him. Lucky to get him. That's a nice one. Down you go. We made one last stop here. We got our trigger. We couldn't find the Almaco in a couple of stops. But we are loading up on some beautiful vermilion here. I think I've put three or four in the box. So we put some nice ones in the box. Thank you.